Hi, this is David Brown reporting from Silicon Valley. I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Dean McCovey, the CEO of Booking Angel. Dean, tell me a little bit about Booking Angel. Booking Angel is an easy online booking system that allows appointment-based businesses who normally wouldn't have a reservation system to be able to get bookings and reservations from the internet. So what it does is um, we partner with local search directories like Yellow Pages style businesses, provide our technology to them. People go there, make a reservation, and uh, as soon as someone makes a reservation, the business receives a telephone call. They answer the phone and says, hi, you have a reservation for five people. Push one to accept the reservation. Push two to, two to reject the reservation. And as soon as the, uh, the business pushes the button on the telephone, the consumer receives an email or an SMS back. Wow. So how does that compare to something like Open Table? Because that seems to be fairly popular in California already. It's a good example. Open Table is um, a very good restaurant reservation system that relies on the restaurant purchasing a, a dedicated terminal and retraining all their staff about how they take bookings. A dedicated terminal? You mean they have to buy like a, a Bloomberg or a monitor of some sort? Exactly. It's like a, a you know, it's a customized piece of hardware specialized is, for it. Is that expensive to do? I believe so. They lease it every month for, for anywhere from up to around $600 a month. Wow. So it's $600 a month just to have a piece of hardware and then you have to pay for training for your employees. Yep, and then uh, you also pay for each reservation you receive as well through the system. Oh, okay. Up to a dollar a person. And so Booking Angel is different bypassing the terminal and the need for the training because it's all a voice-based system. There's no real training involved, is that correct? Exactly. So um, every restaurant that has a telephone is already enabled with our technology. So they don't have to invest in any technology. And the best thing about it is um, they don't have to change the way they do things. The biggest, the biggest inhibitor for small business adopting the internet is because it involves a big change in behaviour for them. This actually fits in with the way they work at the moment. They just answer the telephone, um, go to their usual booking diary, write it down with their little pen and paper, um, but it opens their, their business up to the world of the internet um, to be able to accept online bookings from thousands, millions of different customers all over the world. Wow. So how long has Booking Angel been around? Booking Angel started as an idea back in 2004. Um, I worked part-time on it uh, when I was working for a web developer um, and also a, as a restaurant owner um, uh, back then. And then uh, in 2005, 2006, started to take a little bit uh, more seriously. We got some customers in Australia. Um, and then uh, just last year in July, uh, we raised some external funding. And uh, that's when I uh, started working on the business full-time. So um, it's been an idea since 2004, but full time's uh, one year. Okay. So I'm guessing then that you've been so successful in Australia that you felt that it was time to tackle a, a bigger and potentially more lucrative market in the U.S. Is, is that what your plans are today? Exactly. Um, so the system's been working really well down in Australia, and we've treated Australia like a test market because um, uh, you know, Australia doesn't have the population or the internet usage that America does. And so to get, a, to get a startup actually working down in Australia is quite difficult. Um, we don't have huge amounts of investment. Um, you really have to bootstrap a business and, uh, and you know, earn money any way you can to keep the business going. Sure. Um, so that's what we had to do down there, and we've made a success of it. Um, you know, we've delivered over $1.3 million worth of business to restaurants in, in Australia, and that's mostly in Sydney. Um, that's an impressive number for just a couple of years of focus. Exactly. So, and, and I mean, the, the, biggest, the biggest testament to our success is is talking with the customers who had no idea about the internet. So these restaurateurs who just went about running their business and we introduced the concept to them. Um, and now uh, we've managed to sell them not only our booking system, but um, a website, an email marketing package. Um, so it becomes a really good first step and introduction for these businesses to the internet. And that's why, that's why we think it'll be um, a useful marketing tool for a lot of local search directories here in the US. And that's been our feedback so far. Hmm. So... I know that we're just looking at the U.S. Have you been able to start up or do any business in the U.S. yet? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we came over um, at the end of last year and, and met with a few uh, clients. We wanted to get a good U.S. case study up. So we launched with a, a, a website in Palo Alto called Ura, specializes in um, restaurant ratings. And um, we have enabled, we enabled that in March. Um, and for the first month or two, we went live with that. 2,000 restaurants. 2,000? Yeah. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, wow. just, just to see how, how it would go. Um, and then just recently in May, we've gone live with 30,000 restaurants across California. So just in a, in a couple, two or three months, you've got 30,000 restaurants that are 
utilizing the booking angel system. Exactly. That's and, fantastic. And it's a, it's a testament to how um, uh, how how little change in behaviour is required from the restaurant's part. Um, they can accept the bookings without ever having to have had any training or um, being shown how the system works. So basically, your visit to Silicon Valley is to improve upon the business that you've already created and look for increased capital in order to expand across the United States. Is, is that your objective? Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we've got some customers we're going to talk to while we're here um, as well. Uh, there's some more deals we want to do with some more local search directories. Um, but in order to, to really grow and take advantage of this great opportunity, we have to uh, we have to raise some serious money. So we're looking for a good Series A round um, at the moment to, to help us uh, you know, build out a channel partner network um, to help us... Uh, expand in different industries. So at the moment we're focused in the restaurant industry. Um, this service has applications in any service-based industry that you make an appointment for. You know, your, your plumber, your carpenter, your um, doctor that you go to, your dentist, um, your hairdresser, um, anything that you would make an appointment for is where we see our service. So right now you're, you're focused on the restaurant vertical, but you see six or seven different verticals that you can expand upon once you've done your proof of concept and expand upon the 30,000 plus restaurants you've already got utilizing the Booking Angel system, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So it involves a little bit of customization for each of those industries. We've already done some pilots in the medical industry and in tradespeople. So we've done some initial work to, to start customizing it in that area, um, but we need to spend a little bit more time customizing it for, for those industries. That's exciting. So you're here to uh, do the CEO pitch at the Always On presentation and the BSI Investor Forum. Um, my understanding is that you, you did that last year and it was, it was pretty successful, hence why you're back again this year. Yes. So is that an exciting program that you learn a lot from, or is it networking? I mean, why, why do you go to these conferences? What, what, is it, what do you get out of it, so to speak? Sure. The, the Always On conference last year was fantastic. We pitched as a, as a CEO presentation, and we actually got voted in the top 100, um, oh, wow. which was fantastic. That gave us some good exposure. We made some good um, introductions and contacts with VCs. Weren't you also um, part of the BRW's top uh, ten? That's correct. Internet startups. We were, we were voted number the number seven top Web two point startup in Australia. Um, that was just two weeks ago, and um, we were able to present at the media launch as well. So uh, myself and four other companies were asked to um, give a presentation to all the uh, media and. And everything there. So that was really good to be recognised in your in your home country as well sure. as in the US. US. Um, and the BRW is a very you know highly recognised publication in in Australia. Probably you know one of the highest, most highly regarded business publications. Um, so it's a good credential to have. Like so it's a great jumpstart to go into the Always On and the BSI Investor Forum, right? Yeah, it's a good good credibility, and uh, we're looking forward to. to to meeting some investors here. We've had, we've had some conversations already back when the Always On conference was on. We had some VCs approach us. Um, we realized that we wanted to get a US case study up first so we could have a really um, intelligent conversation about the market and, and what, what our understandings and the learnings of the, of the um, US market is at the moment. So we're in that position at the moment. We're looking forward to um, you know, meeting some good investors. Fantastic. Well, Dean, it sounds like you got a really exciting opportunity to have you. We appreciate the opportunity to come in to uh, speak to us, and I'm looking forward to interviewing you in another year when we're looking at a CapEx and a $20 million plus. <laughs> On a yacht. That would be nice. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. You have a good day. Thanks, this is David Brown reporting from Silicon Valley. Have a great day.